Setting up for this video has been proven to be very difficult. However, we must push on. Today's video is going to be me using the Heaven Sent Cosmetics products that I would have shown you all in my last video. So, um, this one, it was so difficult for me because this palette is very, very, very colorful. And I really didn't know what to do. And because I didn't want to just wing it and create a look that I always do for y'all, I decided to sit and plan and draw this out. So I did. So I kind of have, you know, I kind of want to show y'all, I have like two versions of a look here. I'm hoping that at least one comes to pass and it comes out how I want it to. So stay tuned for that. This video is going to be a voiceover, however, because tonight is just very noisy and I really just want to focus on getting this look done properly. Bear with me in this voiceover. I will show you all all the products that I'm using or I'll tell you all all the products that I'm using. And I hope you'll enjoy. Firstly, let me put this headband on that I got from TT Ravishin. My boyfriend says it looks like a toiletry cover from long ago, but let's ignore him. I think it's cute. Lord, please bless my hands. Please bless my mind. I'll be, I may be able to execute this look how I need it. Amen. I'm priming my eyes with the Ambrosia Cosmetics Tan Eye FX. It's not terrible. But it's not what I wanted. I'm thinking I should have done it this way and just cut off the end of my eyebrow. The first shade I'm taking is the bright yellow for my inner corner. Next, I'm taking a bright pink and I'm going to blend that out. I always go back and forth with the colors just to make sure I have a seamless blend. Moving on, I'm using this deep purple, but I'm following the line I did earlier with my liner. And I'm doing the same with the blue. Again, I'm going back in with the previous colors just to ensure a flawless blend. For the liner, I used Baseline from Ambrosia Cosmetics. This is their black liner. Mm. This is what I wanted this eye to look like. So now, you know, now I'm going to have to fix that. But let's finish this eye first. This eye comes out how this eye came out. Fingers crossed. Now I'm about to repeat everything I did on my other lid. I apply the yellow shadow, then the pink, then the purple, and the blue. And I always made sure to go back and forth with all of my colors just to make sure that everything was blended together and no colors were lost. giving me tiger you know I'm a little impressed with myself just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. I'm going to do my face and then come back when it's time to use this we're not done with the eyes but we, we have to have the face done please I'll be back I'm very impressed with the straight out very proud of you even if 
nobody sees this. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we are at this point where we need to use our nutmeg powder. I already took off the little tape that has been folded and everything in place. I'm not gonna let oh make a mess. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's very very fine. I have very high hopes for this powder because just how it feels on my hands, it feels really good. Okay, I'm pressing it into the skin just like I normally would with my um, buttercup. It's going in very easy. We all know the real test is when we take in pictures, so hopefully when I take my picture, oh, okay, so my eyes need a little touch up because clearly it's smudging a bit. I am not mad at this powder at all. I apologize for all the dogs in my background. I don't know what's going on with my neighborhood dogs at the moment. I love the powder so far. It's melting into my skin just like I would expect a powder to. It, it's not hard to blend out. I know I have a lot on right now. It presses into the skin so easy. It's very neutral. So, I love the powder. Overall, I love the powder. I'm going to continue on with the eyes now. I am still liking this very much. Um, kind of wishing that I only did purple on the ends instead of adding in the blue. So now I think I'm like, I want to cover it up. Okay. I feel like I want to put some white in there. But let me finish the face first. So I have all of my colored liners from Tea Beauty, their Agua FX that I'm thinking about adding to the look. And I also have Maleficent from Ambrosia Cosmetics, which I think I'm definitely adding to the black lines. So should I add the glitter first or should I add the liner first? Because I'm going to add them. So yeah. So I want to put it like, oh, loving that. For my white liner, I use T Beauty's Agua FX in the shade Purity, and I absolutely love the pop that it gave my look. Hmm. Liking it, loving it. Don't want to get carried away. Now we're gonna add Maleficent, which is glitter. This could ruin the entire look, or it could just make it better. Gonna set down some powder because I do not want that glitter stick into my skin. Wow, y'all have no idea how proud of myself I am for getting this done. I'm not even gonna add anything, I was gonna do pills. I feel like that might be overkill. Let's just dust off this powder. For my bottom lash line, I just used the same colors I used on my lid. So I went in with the purple first, then the pink and the yellow for my inner corner. For my waterline, I use a white eyeliner pencil just to give it an additional pop of color. For my inner corner highlight, I use a mixture of two shades. It was a bright silver and a bright gold. I placed the gold first and I topped it with the silver. My lips are my faves right now. It's the shades Bennett and Entangled, both from Tobago Cosmetics. Y'all. Okay, so let me spray my face using my um, Heaven Sun Cosmetics Set It and Go. This smells so good. This smells so good. I 
wow. I love, 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 love how this look came out. I absolutely love this look. I surprised the hell out of myself. This is not what I was expecting. This was not what we planned. We try our best to stick to the plan as close as possible. Y'all know I'm not gonna stick into the plan, but it always works out. These pictures are about to be so good. Fingers crossed. I love how my face looks. It's very neutral, and that is because of the nutmeg powder. I usually use a yellow powder, which is a lot more brightening, but I love how my skin looks with the powder. Um, I love it. I love it. I love everything. I love all of it. I love how the look came out. I love the colors. I, oh, I love it. Um, so thank you guys for watching with me and I'll see you all at the next video.